In this video, let's take a look at autocomplete in Angular Material. Step 1, as always, is to import the appropriate module. So in material.module.ts, we import mat autocomplete module and add it to the material array. Now we can create our first autocomplete. Let's go back to the HTML and start off with a form tag. Within the form tag, mat form field an input element type is equal to text and add the mat input attribute if we save this and take a look at the browser we should have a basic input element the next step is to create a list of options that need to be displayed as autocomplete options so in the component class I'm going to add three options. Angular, React and View. The next step is to make use of the autocomplete component to display this list of options. The component for autocomplete is mat autocomplete. So right after the input element, mat complete. To specify the options, we use the mat option component. And to iterate over the list of options, we will be using the ng4 directive. So on mat option, ng4 is equal to let option of options. We are also going to have property binding to value this is going to be equal to option which is from the current iteration and we are going to display the option so basically the value and what we display is going to be angular react or view all right now we have an input element and an autocomplete with options the final step is to link the two together on the autocomplete component we add a reference variable and assign to it mat autocomplete. On the input element, we add the mat autocomplete property and bind it with the reference variable. So this is going to be equal to auto. This right here. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, I click on the input element and we get the list of options angular react and view click on an option and it fills the value for us so we have a basic autocomplete up and running now it's also quite possible that your list of options is not simply an array of strings instead it could very well be an array of objects for example an array of four objects which has key value pairs. So I've copy pasted a new array called object options, which is an array of four objects. Each of the objects have name, angular, angular material, react, and view. Now to display the options correctly in the HTML, we interpolate option.name. Name is a property in each of these objects. And of course, make sure to iterate over object options now. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, the options are displayed correctly, but when you select an option, the autocomplete doesn't display that value properly. To let the autocomplete know that it has to use the name property to display as value, you can specify a display function. So back in the component class, I'm going to define the display function. Display function, the function gets each object as a parameter. I'm going to call the parameter as subject. And if at all there is a subject, we return subject.name, else undefined. Now in the HTML, on the autocomplete component, we add the display with directive and assign the function. 
If we now take a look at the browser, the order complete works as expected. The display value is angular, but the selected value from the order complete would be the entire object. Now this is great, but what you might be looking for is the filter autocomplete. As you start typing in the text, the options are narrowed down. Now this is where things start to get a little complicated. To be able to implement a filtered autocomplete, you need to have a decent knowledge of Angular Forms. Angular Forms is out of scope for this series but you can find the complete series on Angular Forms on my channel. If you feel lost, please go through that series and then try to understand how a filtered autocomplete works. Alright, the first step is to import reactive forms module and add it to the imports array. So in app.module.ts, import reactive forms module from angular slash forms and add it to the imports array. Step two, create a form control and link it to the input element. So in app.component.ts, which is the class component, we are going to import form control from angular slash forms and create a new form control. So in the class, my control is equal to new form control. And on the input element, form control is going to be equal to my control. So we created the form control and linked it to the input element. Third step, we use the help of RxJS to create a filtered list of options. So in app.component.ts, begin by making the necessary imports. We need observable from RxJS and map and start with operators from RxJS. Next, we need a new property. This is going to be filtered options. This is going to be an observable of an array of strings. Next, we need to implement the ng on init lifecycle hook. So from angular slash core, I'm going to import on init an app component is going to implement on init and we can now define the lifecycle hook so ng on init and within this method we are going to have this dot filtered options equal to this dot my control dot value changes dot pipe start with anything and then map accepting the value this dot filter out the options based on the value and then we can define the filter function so private filter is going to accept a value of type string and return an array of strings. Over here, I'm going to have const filter value is equal to value dot to lowercase and then return this dot options dot filter is going to accept an option and check if option dot to lowercase dot includes the filter value. So what is happening here is that whenever the input value changes, this code right here is called. And in the filter method, we accept the filter text and check if the option includes that filter text. If it does, it returns true and gets displayed. If not, the option is hidden in the autocomplete. The final step is to iterate over this filtered options in the HTML with the async pipe. So ng4 let option of filtered options with the async pipe. And of course, this needs to be just option. 
If we now take a look at the browser, we should have a working filter autocomplete. Again, if it seemed a bit hard to understand, please do make sure you go through the concepts in Angular and then revisit this video. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.